Good morning. So we are waiting. It's nine o'clock, and we are waiting for the transport team to transfer us to Children's uh, Medical Children's Hospital. I can't even talk. It's supposed to be nine o'clock. They will be here. The procedure would be twelve. It's just a short drive. It's just around the corner. But we are in a, they call it a step down hospital because he is not really that critical anymore. We're just here to finish our training. But his cardiologist um, decide to do another stent on his lower pulmonary vein, lower left. So we're going back in there. Hopefully it's just overnight. Um, usually typically the the stent procedure is just like an outpatient but since he's an infant him he needs to be cleared out with all the medication and stuff and and then we'll be back here in the step down hospital which they called an OCH our children's house which is still part of the children's hospital well yeah it's I'm very anxious this is not our first rodeo he has his first stent already last when is it <laughs> November but yes I'm still nervous just to think about it. it's it's still a surgery they still have to put him in a general anesthesia but yeah he is sleeping right now he is ready I layered him outfit because it's still chilly outside it's still 37 degrees and yeah we're just waiting for the transport team, so I'll take you guys with us in this journey today. See you guys later. Okay, so here is Clyde, sleeping. And this is my bag. I have to bring his boppy, just in case, and for sure, he loves to be held. Um, when he's grumpy so yeah I need to bring his puppy that's our clothes my clothes his clothes some blankets in there some necessities and some of his toys um, this will be his blanket during the transport it's still chilly so it's thick enough to keep him warm and then I have my water and snacks and toys, you know, mommy stuff. So we're just waiting. Rest. Okay. Or if you just need me to say, how's our baby doing? Yeah. yeah. Then you just call and ask for that, okay? Okay. Okay. I'll be here today and tomorrow. All right. I kind of love that. <laughs> oh, it's very apparent. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Beth. We are here in the pre-op room. He is falling asleep. We got here and I've got a lot. We got here and I have to sign a lot of consent. And he was pretty sleepy when we got here. So now he's asleep. We already wiped him down. Put him in a gown. And I'm playing on a, a white noise in the background so he can fall asleep and not to hear a lot of noise from the outside of the room. But yeah, he is ready. They're just finishing their um, first case and then Clyde would be next. So 
We're just waiting for the cat club team. And after the procedure, we're gonna go to the cardiac ICU. And hopefully we'll just stay overnight. My big boy. here in the waiting area uh, Clyde is in the OR already I'm still nervous I know this is our second time um, if you are wondering Clyde has a pulmonary vein stenosis it's the condition of your pulmonary vein that's getting tight or it's getting smaller that's why um, they have to fix it the first one is we almost um, ran out of time it was almost closed but they they are really good that they made it they put a stent on it and now he is doing good his eyes uh, doing great actually he's improving a lot ever since we did it so before Christmas the lower left pulmonary vein is getting tight but the doctor didn't didn't decide it by then. The doc the but the cardiologist didn't decide it back then that we have to do this then. All that he told me is we just have to keep an eye on it because it's still in a good size, and the first stent was still fresh. So we proceed. We got moved to the Step Down Hospital. They called it OCH. It's our children's house, and we got moved or we get transferred over there New Year's Eve, and then so we we resume all of all our training, all our classes. Uh, we get checked off of most of them. Um, the one that we need to do is just a transportation class, which is the last one, which is pretty easy. It's just we already know how um, the settings of the vent and how to, um, what is it, put all the tubing. So it, it is pretty easy. And then after that, we're going to do a room in. Room in is just we have to stay not together but john will go stay for 20 24 hour first room in with him without any help um he will just ask them for milk and medication uh, according to the schedule but he's gonna do it all by himself i might do another video separate video of what's really going on and why client end up like this and because a bit a lot of you asking why and uh, what's going on why he had to go to a lot of procedure like this but a little bit of a background Clyde was born as a 27 week he has a lot of complication well not a lot it's just his lungs was born a very underdeveloped so that's why it was it was a bit of a struggle but we're getting there we're getting closer and we can finally see a little light at the end of the tunnel so yep I am just here in the waiting area uh, waiting for them to call me that they're done uh, usually the procedure for the past two because the first one he had was the balloon and then once they observed or they keep monitoring the balloon so they proceed for a stent in the upper left the uh, vein so those first two procedure kind of stretch about four to five hours so I am getting sleepy thankfully I have the camera with me so I was I decided to vlog and document this you know journey and hopefully one day we'll just look back at it and show Clyde how brave he is 
so yes I'm just here waiting in the waiting area and after that I believe we're gonna stay overnight over here in the cardiac ICU just to monitor and how is he doing until he gets stable and then we'll go back to OCH so I'll get you all back later once you get out and we'll be in the room we are here in the room. They called it cardiac ICU. But yes, we are here. And Clyde is sleeping really good. He's still probably under um, sedation, which they kind of reversed it. But you know, it's been like almost six hours of procedure. So I'm trying to be quiet so he can have a good rest. But yeah, I'll let you look around. Got my breakfast, and now we're going to Clyde. Third floor. Hi, I'm going in for Clyde bus. physical therapy he can resume all of resume that everything. Stuff. it's just no baths for four days no bath mm -hmm. how about like just wipes punch bath so I should say he no he can get everything can get wet everything can get soapy I just don't want him sitting in water for four okay. days okay so <laughs> I don't know if they, you know do a little <laughs> bubble bath with the basins yes uh, that's what he usually yeah. but I'll yeah. give sponge bath sponge bath yes. for just four okay. days and then the band-aids just change it every day uh -huh. for the next couple days and then you can take it off after two or three days okay. you don't need it after that okay, cool. okay thank you Thanks. take care It's almost 10. They said that the transport will be here around 10.30, so I'll start getting ready and we'll go back to LCH very soon.
<laughs> We're back. Everything went okay? Yeah, yeah. Echo and X ray is looking great. So. Yay! <laughs> He's All right. Happy to see you. <laughs> I'm happy to be back. <laughs> so the sheets are clean on the bed, but I didn't have time to put a clean blanket on top. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Mama, it won't last long. Yep. Hmm. 